Greetings and welcome to today's lesson. In today's lesson, we are starting on page 47 and we are looking at the performance task for chapter 6. So we begin with this story problem, and this story problem will be the will be the problem that we use for this entire um, entire lesson today. Alright, so let's go and begin by reading it. Jill is helping her father to build a chicken coop. So here's the chicken coop. It's where the chickens live and where they go outside. The design of the coop has two rectangular sections, a fenced outdoor section and an indoor section. So here's the indoor, here is the outdoor, right? So here her, is her plans for it. She has a indoor section that is five feet at the base and four feet at the height and 10 feet in length or 10 feet at the base and four feet at height, right? So that's her, her plan. Okay, now let's turn over to page 48. All right, so first, we want to find the area of the indoor section. All right, so remember that area of a rectangle equals either base times height or, <clears throat> or length times width. Right, whichever way um, is helpful for you to think through it, right? So, what is the base? The base is 5. And what is the, the, the height? Okay, from the bottom to the top. So, we don't know this measurement here exactly, but we know that all these sides are equal on a rectangle, and so it's 4. Right? So, 5 times 4 is 20, and feet times feet is feet squared, right? So it's 20 square feet, All right? Now, which section of the coop has the greater area? Explain two ways of finding this out, All right? So which, uh, which um, has greater area, the indoor or the outdoor? Well, one way to figure this out is just to take... Um, and find the area of the outdoor section. So we know the indoor, so indoor equals 20 feet squared. So now let's find the outdoor. Equals, okay, so the outdoor, base times height, base is 10 times height, which is 4 feet, 10 times 4 is 40, and foot times foot is foot squared, all right? So it's 40 square feet, all right? So there, we know that the outdoor section is larger, all right? How else could we figure this out? Beyond just doing that, what's another way we could figure this out? Well, another way to do it would be to say, well, I know they both have the same height, okay, so they both have the same height, all right, but what do I know about the outdoor section? The outdoor section has a greater base, so therefore I don't have to do the math. If they have the same height, whichever one has a greater base is going to be larger, so they both have the same height. Therefore, whichever has a greater base is larger. All right, so there's two different ways. One, you could just do the math, which we did. We found the area of the indoor section, the area of the outdoor section, or we can just say, because I know that they have the same height, whichever one has a greater base is larger. Either of those ways would work. All right, let's turn to page 49. All right, so Jill's father is, if Jill's father starts by building the outdoor section first. He wants to build the wooden frame using wooden planks. He has 55 feet 
of wooden planks. Does Jill's father have enough wooden planks to build the frame? Show, uh, show your working, all right? So first, let's think, we have this picture here, but let's go ahead and draw our own picture to think through this, all right? What he wants to build is the frame that goes around the outside. Here I'm drawing this the shape three dimensionally. All right, so we have this rectangle. So I'm going to bold in a little bit, and we have this rectangle that needs to be created. All right now, if we need to figure out how much wood he needs, are we going to use? Are we going to use perimeter, or are we going to find use area to figure out how much wood to go around something? Yeah, we're going to need perimeter, right? So we're going to need the perimeter formula for a rectangle. Perimeter of a rectangle, and that is base plus height times two, okay? Base times height times two. So let's figure out the, for this, remember, going off of what we have on page 48, this is going to be 10 feet by four feet, All right? So we do 10 plus four, times two. Now, if we just leave it like this, I would need to, I'd need to um, multiply these two numbers first, okay? So whenever we have numbers in a sequence like this, we always do multiplication first, but I wanna add first, so I'm gonna put this in parentheses. All right, so now 10 plus four equals 14 times two, and 14 times two, two times four is eight, there's nothing to carry over, Two times one is two, right? Now, notice here, we have a frame at the bottom and we have a frame at the top, right? So, here we have perimeter. Let's label this, uh, label this A and B, right? Now, it looks like he's using metal poles, so we don't have to worry about these lines right here, just the top and the bottom. So, perimeter, of A equals 28, perimeter of B equals 28. So he needs two sets of 28 in order to have enough, uh, or two to figure out how much wood he needs, right? So here, what do we do with two sets to find out the whole? We're gonna add those together. 28 plus 28. Eight plus eight is 16. One plus one, two is three, plus two is five. All right, so he needs, I'm gonna label this again, 56 feet. So if he has 55 feet, is that enough? No, All right? So does he have enough? No. He needs 56 feet of wood planks. Comma, but he only has 55 feet. All right, so if we keep this model, he's gonna have to go back to the store and buy some more wood. All right, let's turn over to page 50. All right, so now Jill wants to come up with another design for the in, uh, for the outdoor section so that her father can use a shorter length of wood planks to build the frame. 
the outdoor section would still be rect a rectangular section with the same area. Draw the possible designs of the outdoor section. All right, so what are possible designs? So we have right here, I'm gonna draw a chart. Okay. And these are going to be multiplication problems that make 20. Right now, the chart that the one we have, or not 20, 40, 40 square feet is what the outdoor section is. Right, 40 feet squared. Right, so that's what the outdoor section is. It's 40 square feet. We figured that all the way out. We figured that out back here. Right, 40 square feet is the outdoor section. So what can we multiply together? So we know that four times 10 works. Right, we could do a one by 40, a two by 20, can't multiply by three, already did four, we could do a five. Five times what is 40? Five times eight, six and seven don't work, right? So all of these equal 40 square, uh, 40 square feet. So we could use any one of these, but we want a perimeter that is less than four by 10. Now, a one by 40, that's gonna be really long and skinny. I don't think that's gonna be a good one for the chickens to live in. But let's try a two by 20. Right, let's try a two by 20. So this one has a perimeter of perimeter, <clears throat> just put one line here, perimeter equals 56, okay? Now here, perimeter equals Base plus height times two. All right, so let's try this one. Let's do a two plus 22. All right, two plus 22 equals 44, or, or no, sorry, times two. 2 plus 22 equals 24 times 2. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times um, 2 times 2 equals 4. Right? So the perimeter of this shape is 48. Now remember we have to have it, there's two of them. There's a top section and a bottom section. Right? So now, we have to take 48 times 2, 2 times 8 equals 16, 2 times 4 equals 8, plus 1 equals 9. So now, the perimeter is going to be 96, right? So that even is bigger, so that's definitely not going to work. And I do this next to the wrong one. Perimeter equals 96. Okay, so that is not going to work. That's not going to be good at all. That's even more wood. All right, so let's try 5 by 8. All right, so here would be 5 plus 8 times 2. 5 plus 8 is 13 times 2, which is 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 1 is 2. Right, now we need to multiply 26 times two. Two times six equals 12. Two times two equals four, plus one equals five. So that equals 52. So now we have a perimeter equals 52 for both of those, <clears throat> for both of those, right? The top and the bottom. So this one is now 26, this one's now 26. 26 plus 26 equals 52, that's enough wood, right? So how would we draw that? So instead of, so on the one that she had, right? She had it like this, right? This was four feet, five feet, and this was 10 feet, okay? That's how she had drew it. What we could do is instead of drawing it off of the, off the short side, we could draw it off the long side. 
and now this is eight. So that would mean the indoor section will be four by five, which is what it was to start with, except now, instead of it being a 10 by four, it's an eight by five. So here is the indoor section, and here is the outdoor section. And that allows us to use that five by eight, which means we need to have, a, have the same area, but a smaller perimeter, right? We end up with a perimeter of only 26, but when it's doubled for the top and the bottom, it equals 52. So now her dad has enough wood. All right, now last question. Using the design you have come up with, does Jill's father have enough wood planks to build the frame? Explain, yes. Her dad now has enough because the perimeter doubled is less than 55 feet, all right? And so now her father has enough. All right, well, that is the end of our lesson. I hope you have a terrific day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.